Welcome to the HR Empowerment Podcast, where we will uncover strategies and new insights from HR professionals who discuss up-to-date regulations, best practices, and the most pressing topics like diversity and equity, leadership, dealing with difficult situations, and much more that affect your bottom line and business. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody, Wendy Sellers here, the HR lady. We are here today with a guest who knows it all about talent and training people and getting it done right. And I love that you t- you treat uh, recruiting or talent management as, you know, basically as a project that really has to be thought through. So Donna Helfrey, welcome to our final session. Talk to me about robots. <laughs> robots. So um, I would say in the past, I have, you know, gone down the robot path and um, you know, you have to train this bot. And I was spending more time training the bot and they were missing out on some really good candidates because it didn't surface whether it was the keyword or the, you know, type of experience that I actually was looking for. Um, and it would score them. And I'd be like, why did this resume get a D? You know, and, and I always stayed really close to it to make sure that there was some human eyes on it as well. And we didn't just trust the bot. Um, so I struggled with that a bit. And so, you know, where I'm at right now, um, it is still a actual recruiter um, looking at every single applicant, every single resume. And I want to make sure that there's still this fair and consistent process. And, you know, I, I, we're, we're a small team. So can I interview 400 people? No. Um, but can I, you know, surface some of the ones that have what we're looking for to the, to the top as a human? Yes. Um, I think there's a a place for bots, um, definitely in the, you know, uh, job description, you know, making it sound really appealing and fun and adding, adding some sizzle. Um, so I'm very comfortable in, in that stage of the robot you know, involvement in our process, but we're not there from a screening um, standpoint. My preference is that a human still looks at every interview and also provides that human connection on the other end. Um, The candidate doesn't want to talk to a bot either, you know, and they want to know that there's a human. And I I know this better than that robot does. Um, So I, I think for now, um, I'm going to stay very hands-on um, until robots ultimately take over. Yeah, you know, I, I'm right there with you. I, I love AI. I teach AI every single day to anybody who would listen. Um, JC is the one that actually told me about it when it first came out, and now I'm addicted. But for recruiting uh, or anything really with employee relations, there's a place for it. And then there's a major, major, major concern for it. And in fact, the EEOC will agree with that in the United States. Uh, In May of 2023, they released some more information. It's not their first uh, release about artificial intelligence, Title VII, hiring, so on and so forth. So for those folks that aren't aware of that information, even when the EEOC They're not necessarily saying, here's a new law. Whenever they do a release, you better pay attention. So the EEOC is saying, eh, there's a time and a place for AI and robots, and it's probably not in recruiting. You're better off training your humans how to hire, what questions to ask, what questions not to ask, what accommodations to make, and making sure that we're consistent. And all the way back to what we talked about in our second session today, uh, or in this series about cultural fit, you, using you know cultural ad as an option versus fit. So it's all kind of coming together. Um, at least in the United States, but we're way behind the ball, aren't we? Yeah, for sure. And I think it's risky business, um, you know, but I, I do love it in certain aspects and I'm, I'm, you know, a champion of it in ways that it makes our lives easier, but um, let's keep a human doing the human part of HR. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and according to Fo- Forbes, only 25% of resumes make it past an applicant tracking system and in front of a human recruiter. And 75% of resumes don't qualify because of formatting content or lack of keywords, which I personally think just sucks, (laughs) to put it bluntly. (laughs) That's a really sad statistic. I didn't know it was that high. Yeah. So it's like, even if they're not using um, uh, traditional AI that we're thinking about now in 2024, they're using keywords. And, you know, I I just uh, read 
revise my friend's resume the other day. And she's like, I'm not getting any hits. I'm not getting anything. I'm like, oh, it's all about keywords. Of course, as the HR lady, I understand it. Mm-hmm. I changed her resume. It took me like 20 minutes. You know, I had a glass of wine as a thank you. And oh, yeah. she immediately got hits like the next day. She's like, I've been struggling for months. I'm like, I know it's not fair that this goes on this way. And most companies um, just don't have the bandwidth. So they use keyword search. And it's it's certainly not fair because you're missing a lot of people. So I love that you and Go One say no, we're going to use humans, not bots. Yeah. With that said, tell us just a little bit about how you can help our listeners who are hiring managers, business owners. H, they're wearing the HR hat, operations hat. How could you help them? You know, save time and save money. Sure. Um, I think, you know, making sure you show up um, and making sure that you treat every candidate as a human being, number one, potential customer, number two. Um, These roles are going to resurface time and time again. And if you can build your own, you know, talent community of engaged people that want in, they want in on this impact. um, We're not recreating the wheel every single time. You've got people that are ready to go and they're like, Hey, go on is hiring. I want in. Um, and it's, again, it's how we show up. It's how we, you know, portray like what it's like to actually work here, but also let's treat them as a human, making sure that there's a really good experience, making sure there's some follow-up, making sure they're not ghosted. Um, you know, I might not be given the best feedback for everything, but if somebody has gone through the process, I'm going to call them up and say, Hey, here's where we're at. Here's how, what we've decided to do moving forward. And I think that puts a lot of feathers in our cap in a way that, you know, if somebody feels good about this, they're more likely to reapply when another o- opening comes up or tell their friends um, that experience is super valuable, but also ultimately be like, hey, I, I'm a, a a blink. I mean, we also have Blinkist, which is our, our B2C motion. So meeting the learners where they're at, like, hey, I want to use this product. I want to better my skills. I want to be able to nail this job the next time. And here's how I do it. Um, so again, I think it's just being really human and transparent in the process and in our communication. Donna, how can our listeners find you and connect with you? Uh, my LinkedIn, um, Donna Helfrey is my LinkedIn. I'm at Go One. Prior to this, I spent 12 years at Groupon, so I should be easy to find. <laughs> I love it. And I'll make sure your information's in the podcast um, uh, introduction as well. And I just wanted to say, you know, for our listeners, listen, according to Indeed, employers look at resumes for six to seven seconds on average. Don't be those people. Um, hiring <laughs> managers spend an average of 3.3 minutes reviewing just one resume. Uh, I, I say kudos to the hiring managers for doing more than three to seven seconds. But listen, there are humans on the other side of that resume. Slow down, uh, hire someone like Donna and go one and make sure that you get training to understand what do candidates uh, want, what do they need, and what do hiring teams, remember this is a team sport, really need to change. We hope this information has been helpful. Thanks for joining us and take care. Thank you for joining the HR Empowerment Podcast brought to you by Aurora Training Advantage. We hope you've gained new insight and strategies to navigate the HR profession. We look forward to you joining us again on the HR Empowerment Podcast.